And yes, yo friends, and welcome back to the Tosi channel for Ma I You. I have been hanging out all week for this. We are going to be watching the music video for her new single, Strawberry Moon. I wish I could have watched this sooner, but unfortunately I was incredibly sick at the beginning of the week and it just wiped me out. And I have been lying in bed like, <laughs> Let me watch IU. As always with new music videos and my little ritual, we're going to watch it without subtitles first and just like soak in all the visuals and then we're going to watch it with the subtitles. Over on Patreon today we are going to be watching the making of Strawberry Moon and I'm very excited to watch that as well because I feel like I need a bit of a glimpse into this creative genius. And of course we are watching Hotel de Luna on Patreon as well. Episode 3 has just gone up. It was such a good episode. So obsessed, I love it, I love it so much. So if you'd like to join in for more IU fun, pop on over to Patreon, the link is in the description. But for right now, let's get into Story Moon. Gotcha. Uh, how cute is that house? Oh, cute, it says IU on it. thing isn't everything. Lovely little story being told there. Love the Grace reference. Big time. Okay, with subtitles. Let's go, Kasha. Ooh, what's that one red flower? Daddy, 
This is so prettily done. As always, it's IU and therefore completely delightful and telling more of a story than appears. The story that I think I'm seeing out of this is they have history together and they had a nice future ahead of them, but clearly they're apart now because she's all alone in that room where he used to be spending time with her and that necklace is not discarded, but obviously not worn or used often enough for it to be around her neck or in a jewellery box. It was under her bed. And having the alert on her phone and testing out the necklace to see if it's going to make everything float. And then the look on his face at the end when she comes up the stairs. I mean, it's not like she comes up the stairs with him. He's waiting at the top of the stairs and she arrives and he looks surprised to see her there. And then we have the reveal that the necklace is on her hand as if to say that's how she got there. The necklace floated her up into the heavens in order to be there with him. So I'm getting a bit of a story of for whatever reason they are mostly apart until it is the, the strawberry moon and that's the one time where they can be together again. While it isn't sad, you, it reminds me of things like the drama Crash Landing on You, if you saw that wonderful drama where, spoiler alert, <laughs> At the end, it turns out that there's only a sliver of time every year that they can spend together. So the rest of the time they have to live without each other and missing each other. And then they have this moment in time every year where they can come together again. And the strawberry moon or otherwise known as pink moon, I think it's only once 
a year? I'll have to check that. But I know the pink moon is, is kind of rare. And the reason I'm even aware of the pink moon is when you're a Shawol, if you're a shiny fan, you will know that Chun Hyun, who was a very good friend of IU's, is often represented as the moon or, or by the moon and particularly associated with the pink moon. So unsurprisingly, being a shiny fan and knowing that IU and Chun Hyun were friends, like my brain made that little bridge there with the pink moon and it coming about at only a particular special time and perhaps this person is only reachable at that time and especially because we have a kind of a bit of an imagery of a stairway to heaven in that last scene that my brain has made that connection but I know that the pink moon is rare so although it's not a, a sad song it's it's a joyful celebration of their youth together and the happy time that they had together and how that time in their youth that they had together felt like flying and it was dizzying and joyful and the moon was like an ice cream, everything was sweet, everything was like a fantasy. That Greece reference, Greece is a very grounded, realistic, earthbound musical and then right at the end of it, the car, the Cadillac just flies off into the air and suddenly it gives this fantasy element, this idea that actually you have been watching a play or a musical or a film all along and now this is how we show that this dream sequence has come to an end. So that Greece reference is acknowledging that this is a fantasy state or a dream sequence or an emotion that was felt rather than something that was actually reality. The reality were sweet things like dancing around the room and playing video games together. That is what I'm seeing. It was something that was real. It was something that was tangible and there and that necklace, he's given her some sort of talisman that's connecting her to him. And now once a year or however frequent the strawberry moon is, that's when she can see him by using that. That's so beautiful and so very IU to tell more of a story than what is necessarily at first glance. It's just a lot. She's a sneaky one, she'll come and get you with more story than you expected. Because that is delightful and on face value that is just so pretty. Lovely little pretty dream, a beautiful representation of joyful, happy young love and the easy times together where your biggest stress was trying to hold the other person's hand or trying to trying to instigate the first kiss. Otherwise it's just completely enjoyable and that beautiful pink fluffy clouds and the lilac and I feel like maybe right out the front of the house as well we have all the purple flowers and just one red one and I feel like that's that flower that only blooms with the full moon and I feel like it's called something like a moon flower. I'm terrible at horticulture but a little part of my brain is ringing that bell but that is also representative that there's this one part of her life. If you look at the flowers and that's all of her life there's this one part of her life that was this this moment, this person, this connection, this strawberry moon. Okay well obviously now I need to go pick I use brain and find out what she meant but that's what I'm seeing and I would love 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 to hear what you're seeing. It's so sweet, it's so beautiful, what a lovely song. She has such a gift for sort of taking you away a little bit. There's something about her voice particularly and the music that she writes where it just floats above reality, just above it. So you're a little bit lifted out of yourself while you listen to it, it's beautiful. And I'm noticing that as well watching Hotel de Luna. She has such a melodic way of speaking and such a beautiful and fascinating face. You kind of forget where you are. <laughs> you have this little out of body experience being soaked up in the magic that she's spinning and she puts that through all of her art I'm discovering watching her in both dramas and in music. She's captivating. She's done it again. She's captivated me again. Oh, this is gonna be me every single week. Every week I'm gonna be like but I love you more. <laughs> More and more and more. Okay, if you would like to watch the behind the scenes with me, pop on over to Patreon and I will see you there. But that was just lovely. That's lovely. And it's made me want ice cream. <laughs> Thank you for joining me for more IU, Kamsanida, and Sarangeo, and I will see you soon for more. Enyong!